Well, it is a huge win for the Arvind Kejriwal-led uh, Aam Aadmi Party with the Supreme Court making it clear that as far as uh, the, this ongoing battle with the Lieutenant Governor or with the Center is concerned, the Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi does have control over services. This is a battle which has been going on for many years and stems uh, at the, uh, is the core or the heart of the disagreement or some of the disagreements between the Delhi government uh, and the center, the control over services and resources, who actually controls them. For citizens on the ground in Delhi, it's often meant a great deal uh, of confusion, uh, which agency actually deals with basic issues, uh, whether it is looking after streets, whether it is looking after transport, whether it is actually looking after governance in so many ways in the national capital. Well, joining us now uh, on this day, it's a very significant day for the Aam Aadmi Party, Raghav Chadda, the Aam Aadmi Party yeah. MP. Thanks, Raghav, very much for being with us. Let's look at the larger issue first, based on Thank what you. the Supreme Court has said, yeah. which I think is this. In a democratic form of governance, the real power of administration must rest on the elected arm of the government. How does this observation strengthen not just the Delhi government, but our federal polity and the basic structure of our democracy? Yeah. Well, Vishnu, first of all, this is a landmark judgment. It's a historic judgment. And we at the Aam Aadmi Party wholeheartedly welcome this. We salute the Supreme Court for this big victory of Delhi, for this big court, whether it is... We were there. Hope, justice, the truth. Left, right and centre with me, Vishnu Shob, Monday to Thursday, 9pm on NDTV 24-7. Well, it is a huge win for the Arvind Kejriwal-led Aam Aadmi Party with the Supreme Court making it clear that as far as uh, the, this ongoing battle with the Lieutenant Governor or with the Centre is concerned, the Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi does have control over services. This is a battle which has been going on for many years and stems uh, at the, uh, is the core or the heart of the disagreement or some of the disagreements between the Delhi government uh, and the center, the control over services and resources who actually controls them. For citizens on the ground in Delhi, it's often meant a great deal uh, of confusion uh, which agency actually deals with basic issues, uh, whether it is looking after streets, whether it is looking after transport, whether it is actually looking after governance in so many ways in the national capital. Well, joining us now uh, on this day, it's a very significant day for the Aam Aadmi Party, Raghav Chadda, the Aam Aadmi Party yeah. MP. Thanks, Raghav, very much for being with us. Let's look at the larger issue first, based on Thank what you. the Supreme Court has said, yeah. which I think is this. In a democratic form of governance, the real power of administration must rest on the elected arm of the government. How does this observation strengthen not just the Delhi government, but our federal polity and the basic structure of our democracy? Yeah. Well, Vishnu, first of all, this is a landmark judgment. It's a historic judgment. And we at the Aam Aadmi Party wholeheartedly welcome this. We salute the Supreme Court for this big victory of Delhi, for this big victory of uh, democracy. And I think it is a victory of Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party's perseverance for the last eight years. Let's rewind back to the May of 2015 when this whole issue started and that is when the, the differences of opinion and clashes between the elected government and the lieutenant governor's office started happening. It was in the month of May 2015 that a notification was issued by the central government taking away the services that is the administrative power of Delhi an administrative control over the officers of Delhi and gave this power and this control to the lieutenant governor. And ever since that, over the last eight years, you have seen that there has been a constant, uh, you know, this, this turf war between the elected wing of the government and the lieutenant governor. Today, the Supreme Court, in no uncertain terms, in an unequivocal manner, in a unanimous judgment, 5-0, has said that it is the elected government of Delhi that has complete control over the administrative machinery, has control over the officers, the transfer posting of the officers, the disciplinary proceedings against the officers, and the accountability of the officers is towards the elected government and not the lieutenant governor. And sure. I think that is at the core of India's democracy. The hijacking of this administrative machinery by the central government's appointee, a parachuted, unelected person called the lieutenant governor, was anti-democratic from the first day. 
and it took us unfortunately eight long years to get the pronouncement like this uh, but ultimately quite frankly finally after hearing what the supreme court has said today i can uh, you know say this uh, without any hesitation that we can finally breathe we feel that finally uh, it's the people of Delhi and the elected representatives of Delhi that have won sure. and the BJP has lost. It's a big lesson for BJP also, Vishnu, that they should A, not try and disturb this fine balance of power that the constitution has provided between the center and the states. And also a lesson for them to understand that, you know, this, this regular uh, sort of fetish to undermine elected governments is neither good for democracy nor good for the BJP's own politics and that is what the Supreme Court has said today. Raghav, uh, this is actually uh, one of the observations in the, in the judgment. If an officer feels that they are insulated from the elected government, they feel that they are not accountable. You have the, the primary issue and it's not just an issue which affects the Ahmadmi party, it's actually uh, an issue which affects citizens like me. If there are officers or bureaucrats who do not function the way they are asked to function, yeah. then it's citizens who end up suffering. Because without services, you can't run one of the largest cities in the country. So this observation on officers oh, and their accountability yeah. is important for me as a citizen. Absolutely. And it is inconceivable, Vishnu. It is absolutely inconceivable that a government exists with no control no functional or administrative control over the officers and the officials. I mean, a government cannot perform like this. A government or the set of ministers from the chief minister and his council of ministers function through these officers and the bureaucratic machinery. If these bureaucratic machinery is taken away from the elected government and they are told that, look, these people, the elected government will not, just cannot act against you. They can neither transfer you nor post you in a department, also cannot initiate disciplinary proceedings against you. You are not answerable to them and we are insulating you from these people the machinery will stop responding to uh, the ministers and the council of ministers and this essentially means that the democratic set of functioning or the or the constitutional scheme of governance in delhi uh, had to come to a grinding halt uh, but it is perhaps because of this constant struggle that the aam Admi party and the perseverance of arvind kejriwal that we finally managed uh, to you know uh, get a judgment like this where the honorable supreme court has in no uncertain terms said that the elected government is the boss of delhi it is not the lieutenant governor in a unanimous judgment with of course so the rider hope, that you know, when it now comes that to land the, when it comes to uh, the police law and order and and one more factor those are in uh, you know within the control or the ambit of the say you no, don't no, have any grounds with that right i'll tell you no 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 absolutely not you see, when the Assembly of Delhi was constituted by virtue of insertion of Article 239AA in the Indian Constitution, it was envisaged that you, uh, but Delhi is going to be a union territory with a legislature, yes. a unique kind of a setup. That means all powers will be with the government of Delhi except three, that is entry 1, 2 and 18, land, law and order and police. We have never quarreled or argued on this from day one. We have only said that barring these three subjects, that is entry 1, 2 and 18, that is land, law and order and police, everything else, including transfer posting of bureaucrats, including administrative and functional control over the bureaucratic machinery has to be with the elected government. But it is in May 2015 that even this was snatched away from us by virtue of a notification. And, you know, in, in pre Ahmadmi party days, when Mrs. Sheila Dixit's government used to be uh, running uh, the, the administration in Delhi, they always had administrative and functional control over the bureaucratic machinery. They had you know, no issues with that. Happened. It is only perhaps because of this, right? because of the change in regime at the center with BJP coming into power in the year 2014 with the thumping majority, okay. that they snatched this power from us and it was perhaps more to do with politics but I'm, well, I'm, let's I'm, hope, hope Raga, I'm at the end of the day the battles finally, that we see between the Ahmadmi party and the center actually go away in, in, in for, for citizens that is important but this is an important clarification and order now by the Supreme Court yeah. of India